After Catherine McBroom spoke out yesterday about the Ace family's divorce, Austin McBroom has now responded, and some people suggest that he blames his kids for the divorce. Guys, we've spoken about the Ace family a lot recently. I literally uploaded a video last night regarding Catherine's response, and today, ladies and gentlemen, a nice little surprise for you, Austin McBroom's actually responded. Now, I've seen a few people claim that Austin kind of hinted that it was his kids' fault for the reason of divorce, but we're gonna check that out together because I'm not sure how true that actually is. And apparently he also tried his best to give off the impression that they both decided on this divorce. And to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I've spoken about this already, but I honestly believe that Catherine was the one that decided on this divorce. I even found some new resurfaced clips for this video to kind of show you that Catherine's always hinted that she's wanted a divorce. I'm so sick of him. The next video is gonna be he moved out by himself. <laughs> no. A lot of things we don't share. We should, okay, yeah. so. Okay. <laughs> Nobody knows the truth. The tears and the yelling. Nobody knows what I went through. We're a fucking team, bro. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. Like, I just don't care. Give what the one. hell happened? What happened that day? No. Oh, yeah. So, so, yeah. So and I'm like, shit, can we share my part? Shit. Yeah. I went through a lot. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, this clip that we just looked at kind of confirms the point that Catherine kind of silenced her own emotions for years. And in the new response from yesterday, she also claimed that she's been lying to herself for years, but yet she's still lying to herself now. She claimed in that response video from yesterday that she never argued with Austin, like ever. But she just claimed in this video that's resurfaced that they don't know what goes on behind closed doors. The arguing, the yelling, the crying. So what is it then, guys? Are you arguing or are you not arguing? And to extend my point, I showed a resurfaced clip in yesterday's video where Catherine claims to think about a divorce multiple times. So when it comes to marriage, you probably will think about getting a divorce or being alone multiple times. Every day. Multiple times a oh, day. Yeah, I literally think about leaving this person. I don't know if I can make it in seven time. years. Wow, such a happy relationship, guys. And Every we've day. never played with the idea of us not being together, and that's facts. You guys know that. We've never played with the idea of that because that's just not. That's not we us. would never go there. That's no. just not us. You know, me and Austin, we never argued. We're a great team. We're a power couple. He thinks about leaving him every single day. But not just that, someone actually brought up a good point in their comment section, and you guys can debate it in our comment section. Let's take a read. Serious question. Why did she have kids with Austin if she wasn't happy? Now, you guys can make of that as you wish. I mean, that clip of her saying that she thinks about leaving Austin every single day was from a few years ago, so I guess it's a pretty good question, right? Why would you have more children with somebody if you're thinking of leaving them every day? <laughs> with that said, let's take a look at Austin's response, but also, in store for later, we're gonna look at every reason why I think Catherine wanted a divorce with Austin, and I've got a bunch of shit here. Like, it's pretty good. Um, I took it from TikTok. <laughs> Catherine and I have mutually separated. You know, it hasn't been easy for us the last few years, and we've really been sacrificing our happiness for our kids. <laughs> and some of you may think that this was a quick decision for us, but it's not. We... Her and I have been fighting for our relationship for a little while now. And like I said, we really sacrifice our happiness for our children. And it really has been unfair to us um, that we put our relationship last and we're unable to make that a priority. Her and I, no matter what, will be the best of friends. Okay, first things first, now I can understand where people are coming from when they say that he put the blame on the children. Someone even said in the comment section here, maybe next time, don't put the blame on your children. Now, in my opinion, I don't think he's literally blaming the children. I mean, every marriage has to make sacrifices for their children's happiness. I mean, that's kind of a standard thing that parents do. You know, they always put children first, so that's understandable. I, mean, I don't think he's straight up blaming his children for the reason of the divorce, and if he is implying that, then that just makes you an absolutely horrible person. <laughs> I don't think he's actually saying that, but if he is, wow. It's almost like saying because because of the children, we had to put our relationship last and we had to focus on them. And because of them, we didn't focus on ourselves. So therefore, we lost happiness and love for each other. And then that's why we split up. And the fact that you didn't put your marriage as a higher priority is not the children's fault. It's your fault for not clogging it sooner. But actually, Austin, I don't think you were putting your children first. Because as far as I can tell, there's a lot of allegations about you cheating on Catherine. Look, guys, you put our children as the first priority. 
my marriage was actually the last priority. Yeah, no shit, Austin. You were banging other women. If anything, you were putting your needs first before the children's. But in this next clip, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? In their statements a few days ago, Austin and Catherine both claimed they were going on separate journeys. Austin claimed that they were going to move forward in life as separate authors. Well, Austin obviously is moving out, but into the same neighborhood. I've been looking for my new home and uh, fingers crossed, but I may have found um, a home in the same neighborhood. <laughs> yes, guys, I'm one of those dads. I have to be with around that I get to move into this home um, and I move in pretty quickly, hopefully. Um, so it's walking distance. So nothing will change when it comes to you know, us being with our kids, us being parents, uh, her and I um, have made a promise to each other that we will do the best we can uh, when it comes to co-parenting. So that's a blessing and I'm very, I'm very grateful for that. Our kids, you know, will be going back and forth. Catherine and I um, don't want it to be one of those, you know, you get them one week, I get them one week um, type of schedule. Um, we're gonna do, like I said, um, we're gonna try our best to make this process as smooth as possible. So, you know, they'll be going back and forth basically every day. Um, and, you know, same with Catherine and I, you know, sometimes she'll be at my place and there's sometimes well, I'll be at her place. There is, ladies and gentlemen, finally he brought it up. He's gonna be at her place sometimes and she's gonna be at his. I mean, did you speak to Catherine about this? I really hope you did because you literally are in walking distance from her house. As much as you both are a team on this, are you sure that Catherine's gonna wanna live literally a minute away from her ex-husband? Yes, of course, he wants to be close to his children, but I think he wants to keep an eye on Catherine as well. You know, you know? just wanna let you other men know that I am gonna be in Catherine's life still. I'll even be over her house sometimes. I only live two minutes away. So if other men are thinking of going to her house, just remember, the ex-husband is still about baby. It is going to be so tough for Catherine to enter the date in life again. I mean, with her ex-husband just living around the corner, she'd be lucky to even organise a date. It almost feels as if Austin wants to keep an eye on everything, you know? I mean, yes, for the kids and all, like, he says that, but I really do think that he's still trying to be in Catherine's life as much as possible, hoping that she will take him back. I may have found um, a home in the same neighbourhood. <laughs> And look at that little evil laugh he does as well, almost as if his master plan is working. Yes, guys, me and Catherine are getting a divorce, but I actually found a house in the same neighborhood. <laughs> We've experienced, accomplished so much together in almost a decade. Um, damn. we almost reached a decade. <laughs> it's crazy to say. But now moving forward... Her and I will no longer feel like we're being held back from anything. And I'm genuinely happy for us. I'm happy for her. I'm excited for her. Um, I know she's going to do so many amazing things and become the best version of her. Um, and same for myself. There's so much that I need to work on and have to work on and want to work on for myself and so many things I want to do and so many things I want to accomplish. Her and I, no matter what, will be the best of friends. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard for you not to be best friends when you're literally in walking distance from her house. He looks so stressed and Catherine looks so radiant and glowing now. He's so hurt, tired and stressed and she's glowing happy and free. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good point, actually. I mean, if you do look at this clip from Catherine and look at this clip from Austin, it does look like he's dealing with this the hardest. I mean, guys, look, it's not confirmed, right? But if you ask me, it's pretty obvious that Catherine was the one that wanted this divorce. I mean, even though Catherine isn't the best of people either, Austin was the one that was literally going behind her back and doing shady things and, you know, bringing all the financial ruin onto their family with the lawsuits and being sued by many people and scamming charity events. <laughs> now, as I mentioned, he did upload a lot of stories and, you know, we've been through a couple already. Um, they're all on Snapchat. You can go and check them out. There's about 80 of them. He also goes on to explain about how the Ace family is going to move forward now. And apparently, you know, him and Catherine discussed it and they obviously weren't planning to do YouTube forever. And their plan was always to give the Ace family channel to their children. So I guess at some point in the future, we'll, we'll see their children being in charge of the Ace family channel, like doing vlogs and everything. And apparently one of their childs like absolutely loves it. Like, 
like she was born for it apparently according to him so i can imagine that in the future at some point we will see their children being you know the the main stars of the ace family and you never know maybe it's a wormhole perhaps their children will have children and then It'll be Ace Family version 2. <laughs> but as I did mention earlier, there was this TikTok that I found, which thankfully somebody put together, I'll leave that link in the description, where they basically showcased like everything that Austin has done to Catherine in terms of like being unfaithful. So let's check out everything he did. I mean, why not, right? I mean, we've, we've got time to spare, right? You know, it's, it's 3 p.m. The video's gonna be up in about five, six hours. So we got time to spare, let's do it. We got here, the reason Catherine got tired. Tana Mongu alleges Austin McBroom paid her roommate 40K to keep a cheat in a secret. Wow. I mean, if that's true, then that's wild. Literally blackmailing somebody. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, you claim that you both were putting the children first, but it seems like maybe Catherine was the only one that was putting them first. Seems like you put yourself first and just wanted to go around smashing other women. This has been happening for years. Tana Mongu's friend accuses Austin McBroom of flying one of his friends out to hook up. Instagram model Noelle Laver exposes Austin McBroom and Jason Derulo for sliding into her DMs. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, there's so much allegations going around, it's hard to know what to believe. And I just want to give you guys some advice on, you know, if any of you are feeling, you know, tired and just sick of life, just remember, guys, okay, tomorrow's a new day. You guys can smash it tomorrow. Don't forget to enjoy the little bits of life and don't be so hard on yourself, guys, honestly. You've got to show yourselves love. Look in the mirror every day when you wake up and say, you know what? I love you. Do that every morning. I guarantee if you do that for 28 days straight, by the end of it, you'll start feeling happier and your smile will be brighter. And don't forget to practice emotional strength and discipline. The only way you can grow is if you go through hard times. That's how you grow as a person and that's how you become more resilient to difficult times. And discipline, if you don't feel like doing something, that's when you should do it. If you don't feel like washing the clothes, do it. If you don't feel like taking a shower, do it. Because that will practice your discipline and you'll get better and better and tasks will become more easier to come. The, ta the task will be more easier to come. The tasks will be easier to complete. All right. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.